In order to figure out your grade and what the comments on Gradescope mean, you need to first open the exam key. Once you open the exam key and go to a particular problem, for example problem 3, then you'll see a lot of different options, some of which are highlighted, some of which aren't, for you. So, for example, on question 3, part A of exam 2, there are three things that are necessary for a full credit answer. The first is a description of the immediate consequence of the uh, particular mutation uh, that was described. The second is a description of the long-term consequence. And the third is a description of the overall risk of developing cancer. Um, and so in this case, um, the, uh, the, what's checked over here on Gradescope is that um, full credit for providing a description of the immediate consequence full credit for providing a description of the long-term consequence, and um, no credit for describing the overall risk of developing cancer. Um, if, for example, uh, somebody had written, uh, 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 had provided a vague discussion of long-term risk um, rather than providing a specific uh, answer, then, then uh, there might be um, 3A risk might be highlighted at half credit instead of at full credit. Um, then down over here at 3B, again, there are three parts required, and in this case, all three are checked for full credit. Um, if somebody, uh, if, if this particular person um, had, uh, for example, um, provided, uh, stated that this patient is worse off than the one described in Part A without an explanation um, as to why, then instead of getting full credit for the 3B comparison part, um, they would have gotten half credit for the 3B comparison part. So as you go through and try and make sense of what's going on in Gradescope, you absolutely need the answer key and you need to match up what's checked with either full or half credit as, um, as applicable line by line on the um, provided answer key.